In today's video, I spent 100 days in Stranded Deep. Stranded Deep is a survival game where in the aftermath of a mysterious plane crash, you build shelters and rafts, explore islands and underwater shipwrecks, survive and of course, stay alive. Oh yeah, if you make it that far, escape. Just a side note, Stranded Deep is a very unforgiving survival game. Whatever dying of dehydration or starving to death, to being constantly poisoned by snakes or other creatures and literally being roasted by the sun. Put on some sunscreen loser. Oh, and let's not forget to save a lot. If you do enjoy this type of videos, please leave a like and let me know what I should play next. Without further interruptions, I spent 100 days in Stranded Deep. I woke up on the plane from my nap and knew something was wrong. My glass was empty. Well, I guess we are having a plane crash. And now my drink is completely gone. After waking up from my crash landing nap, I tried to put my glasses on and see if the pilot had any drink left, but they were no longer there, so I decided to go out. I struggled to get out of the plane, but luckily the plane waited for me to get on my raft before exploding. Such a nice plane. I then woke up from my explosion nap in my raft and started day one of survival. The first sight that I get is a shark, a very warm welcome. I looked through my raft storage to see if there is any weapon so I can fight the shark. But all I found was bandages, emergency food and a compass. I did find a paddle, but the odds of me winning this fight are very small. I did the next smartest thing and paddled to the shore. I put back the paddle and pulled my raft onto the shore so it doesn't drift away. I then went to explore the island and gathered all the materials that I could find, which I might need later. I found a rock. I also took my emergency supplies and tried to navigate myself with the compass. I don't know what I'm doing. I found a crab, but I guess I need something more than just a rock. I picked up a bunch of materials like sticks, plants, metal and some rocks and was ready to craft stuff, but it took me a while to figure out how to open the crafting menu. The first item I decided to craft was a knife, but I didn't have any rope. In order to craft one rope, I needed four leaves. So I went to gather some leaves, but I already had a storage rope. I eventually found four leaves and made myself a knife. Now the shark won't stand the chance. I then went into the water to fight the shark and ended with more than that. I stepped on something poisonous. Great, not even five minutes and I already met my first poisonous creature, which also means I'm slowly dying. I wouldn't make it far in real life. I decided water was dangerous for now and went back to the shore where I realized I was burning from the sun. I did pick up our plant, which reduces the effect of sun exposure, so at least now I'm just poisoned. And finally found the crab. I used the mighty blow to one-shot the crab and used the knife to skin it, which gave me raw meat. Okay, I can almost eat. Just need to cook the meat, which means I need a campfire and something to start the campfire with. I went on to chop down some trees and collect some rocks and sticks to build a campfire. I then used the kindling to start the fire and put the crab meat on to cook. While the meat was cooking, I noticed a coconut on the tree. There was my next mission. So I climbed on the tree and retrieved the coconut. I used the knife to open it and drink from the coconut. Mmm, delicious. I started to get hungry and I thought the crab meat was already cooked, but I was very wrong. This is where I learned that the food has to be cooked cooked, otherwise this happens. With my stomach almost full and the sun settling down, I decided it was time to make a shelter before the cold night begins. To be honest, it's probably going to be hot anyway, but better safe than sorry. I needed some palm leaves to build my shelter and I knew I wasn't going to cut the tree down with a knife, so I focused on making an axe. I gathered the rest of the materials for the axe and chopped down my first tree. I cut the palm into smaller leaves, cut the big logs into sticks and made a rope. Now all I was left to do was to build a shelter right next to my campfire. I thought to myself, why go sleep now? The sun is not burning me during the night and the adrenaline from crashing on this island was still pumping. So I ended up staying late to build the water still. It was a mission because I needed the coconut flask, which I couldn't find in the build menu. Why you ask? because it was in a different section of the build menu that I didn't know actually existed. And I finally realized that there are multiple sections of the building menu. I learned a lot of important points, like I can build a raft, a gyrocopter, I can set up farms, 
I can collect free trophies from somewhere and free parts for something related to the story. And finally, I found a coconut flask. Ah, antidote. I kinda need that actually. I found a nearest coconut tree and picked up a coconut. And obviously I gathered the wrong leaves as I wasn't sure where I can actually get the ones I need. Yeah, it's not like I've not made the rope like five minutes ago. Don't ask. I went around the island like a headless chicken searching for leaves. I had a fight with a bunch of bats and I had to chop down almost every kind of tree on the island in order to find the one I need. I can't believe myself sometimes. I made a rope and gathered enough materials to build myself a water still. I realized I need to supply the water still with leaves so it can generate water for me. And finally I was rewarded with some sweet, sweet clean water. As I was still poisoned, I thought I might as well enjoy my last sunrise. But I wasn't just going to give up after one day. I gathered some more leaves and rope and built another flask, hoping that I can mix myself some antidote. Although apparently I wasn't experienced enough, so I had to focus on leveling my crafting. I switched my priorities to build a hammer and had the idea to build my first base. I spent a very long time running around the island, trying to find some more leaves, but there was none left. I decided to explore a shipwreck nearby, where I found a bunch of items for an engine of some sort and also some chests. Yes, I know it's a storage that I can pick up, but at that time I was too blind to see it. As it started raining, I thought it would be a perfect time to explore another island, as I wouldn't be suffering from the sun. So I pulled my raft into the water and went on an adventure. Probably wasn't the best idea to travel in storm. Anyway, eventually I reached the island and met my first giant crab. I had a fierce fight with the crab, where I tried healing with bandage, but that's only for when you are bleeding. And I used all my emergency food because I thought it would heal me. Yeah, lesson learned. I tried a different tactic, ambush from behind. This worked great and eventually defeated the crab. I skinned the crab and got a bunch of meat from him. And bam, second crab. Really bro? What island is this anyway? I went around the island gathering more materials and also trying to avoid the crab as another fight would be deadly. I made a hammer and continued gathering materials as the crab wasn't really interesting in dancing for now. I got myself a torch so I can see better at night. With all the materials I needed, I headed back to my island. Well, at least I hope that's the one I came from. Once I reached my island, it was time to build my first shelter. With the acquired hammer, I built the foundation. I put my dinner on to cook and continued building. Once the food was ready, I tried eating, but somehow managed to eat raw food instead. Yay. I wasn't healing back up due to the fact that I was still poisoned, so my clock was ticking. As I was building, I didn't realize I leveled up my crafting skill and I could finally mix an antidote. I was panicking as I was down to my last bar and eventually my intelligence started creeping in. I noticed I can craft an antidote and grab the coconut flask from the ground and pee pee, pee, pee plant from my raft. I quickly consumed the antidote and was finally healthy. Yes, I was finally healing. Anyway, back to building. I built 2x2 two two foundation and walls, but as I tried to fit the roof, there was a problem. I didn't know how to rotate the building pieces, even though it was on the screen. With the next stupidest thought of mine, I thought I had to expand my base 3x3 three three in order to fit the roof to my base. So I destroyed the walls and expanded the foundation to a 3x3, three three, to only learn that it wouldn't work anyway, and the only way to fit the roof is to use an insane ability called Rotate. I continued building the roof only for my hammer to go on a vacation. And with no rocks left on my island, I had to paddle all the way to the nearest island to gather some rocks and build another hammer. Once reaching to my base, I was getting hungry. And with no emergency supplies left, I had to use a fishing spear to hunt some fishes and make myself some food. Mama, 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 food. With my base essentially completed, I had a deep thought on what I should build next. It was between the raft, where I need the whole Amazon forest and other materials to start, a gyrocopter where I had zero of the required materials, or a farming plot to gather and harvest plants. With the shortage of food, I decided to try the farming plot, only to realize I need a hoe to build the plot. There is always something I need. Eventually I built the farming plot and I wasn't quite sure what I can put on there to grow. I tried everything and learned I can put an aloe plant there to grow, so I settled for that. It'll be nice for the sun protection, I guess. 
I watered the plan and focused on building my raft. I remember one of the shipwreck had some barrels in there and they could be used as a barrel raft base. There are only three barrels so the rest will have to be from sticks. I went to the shipwreck for the barrels where I had to find a small crab that was guarding them. I let the barrels float and with one rope I built my first building block of my raft. I dragged the barrels onto the shore and started gathering materials for my new project. I found a bunch of cool objects like flare gun, which I guess is used for someone to come save you. I mean, illuminate a location. I found an oxygen tank, which could be used during longer periods of exploring in water. And it was only on day 5 that I learned the wood containers are actually storage units that can be picked up. Yes, I had to craft it in order to learn that lesson. I also learned I can put the items in the chest and pick it up, which will save you some spaces in backpack. With this new knowledge, I decided to head out and gather some more wood for my raft and more chests for storage. Only to realize 10 meters out that I had no food or water. Great. As I traveled to a new island I have not discovered yet, I discovered a big ship. I was excited to see something different rather than the island, but I knew with this current boat there was no way I can make it there and back in one piece, especially since I had no food or water with me. So ship is gonna have to wait. As I was gathering materials, I was ambushed by a boar, by a crab and a snake. I didn't have any ranged weapons, so I decided to gather what I can and explore the shipwreck for loot instead. I got a bunch of chests and I found some more tires and tried to transport them back to my island. But obviously that didn't work. I decided to head back to my base and resupply as it was already dark outside. Upon reaching my island, I made some food and was getting tired of making one meal at a time, so I decided to build a smoker. I went to hunt for some fish and put all the meat inside the smoker to cook. The last thing I wanted to build was a tanning rack so I can make some leather, which is used for refined weapons and tools like refined axe and spear. But I built the wrong thing, which was used for making cloths. Defeated and tired from carrying all the chests, I went to bed so I'm ready for the next day. The next morning I took some spears and some food and drink and hopped into my raft where I ventured back to the island to gather some more materials. Oh look tires! And look the ship! Every time I come here I get excited thinking of all the loot I'll get from there. I landed on the island and hunted down the boar. I really need to work on my hunting skills. I skinned the boar and the snake and eventually the island was safe for me to explore and gather materials. After gathering everything, I went to the nearest island to gather some more chests and ended up being poisoned by a snake. Yes! I gathered what I could, especially wood for my raft, and headed home to start building my new raft. Day 10. The most memorable day of the game for me. And I'll tell you why in a second. I started day 10 still being poisoned, but that wasn't going to stop me anyway. I headed out of my island to gather and improve my situation with the storage and get some more wood for my raft. I really need a lot of wood, as most of my base pieces are going to be made out of wood. Oh look, a whale! As I reached the destination, I started gathering materials and other stuff. I found a container, which I guess will give you metal scrap once it's destroyed, but I didn't bother. I then found a crash ship boat shelter, I think, where I found two chests some items, and a refined axe. I was so happy to finally have a refined axe. Chopping wood is going to be so much easier now. I then went from an island to another island and kept hoarding chests and materials, but avoiding any combat with crabs and boars. As I was still poisoned and I was losing health, so I couldn't afford to have any fights. I managed to get six fully stacked chests with loot and supplies, but I was greedy for more. This is where I met my demise. I visited the last island with one health bar left. I desperately looked for a PP plant to make an antidote, but it was too late. I went through about 5 or 6 islands not looking for it until now. Yeah, it's all my fault. As I was in the full tunnel vision in search for the plant, which I can't pronounce, this happened. I've lost so much progress. This was a very hard lesson to learn, but I know now I have to constantly save otherwise I'll lose progress. It's funny because this is the only accident I had, I think. Well, does this technically count as I survived 10 days in Stranded Deep? Oopsie. Anyway, day 10. I went back to the same island where the refined axe was and the two chests. 
And I learned not to throw spears at crabs. It doesn't work. I searched the whole island to get a pee pee plant and kept on finding potatoes. I learned my lesson to get rid of the poisoning as soon as possible and finally found a plant. I finally realized what it actually looks like. I crafted the antidote and was finally free from poisoning. I scanned the island just in case I missed any of the plants and headed back to my island to get started with the raft. I started by chopping wood logs into sticks as I needed 14 sticks and one rope for one piece of the raft base. Oh yeah, I also need a hammer. And finally I struggled to build the raft as it wouldn't let me build because there was no space underneath. I used the wood container to leverage the raft and attach more pieces on it. It worked! As I had a lot of metal, I used it to build the raft flooring. And my raft finally started looking like a raft. Well, not really, but small steps. I also had a problem. I ran out of wood and ropes to continue building my raft. I grabbed all the empty wood containers and headed back to the island to deforest the place, basically. I chopped down trees and filled the chest with wood and sticks and headed back to my base. I chopped the logs into sticks and finally had a 3x3 three three raft with no floor. Let me fix that real quick. I used the combination of wood and metal to fill the floor, whichever materials I had left over. And finally the raft base was finished. I really hope it actually floats. I don't really know what I'm building to be honest. I then focused on the raft features like anchor, sail and way to maneuver the raft. And finally the raft was finished. All this building made me hungry and thirsty, so I replenished my needs and it was finally time to test out the raft. I pulled the raft into the sea and it didn't sink. And pulled down the sail and officially went for my first ride. I went to the nearest island to gather some more chests and materials and build my first onboard storage shelf. I can now put storage on the raft without losing it on the way. Moving on. My idea was to go around the island and upgrade my raft as I go, but I didn't think it would be so much pain. Let's just say I found tires and wanted to replace the wood of my raft base. Well, I couldn't just destroy the bottom part and had to destroy the flooring as well before I was able to replace the raft base. Why? Well, I did exactly that and upgraded one wood piece into a tire piece. Now I feel more secure at least. I built another shelf, but I didn't have any chests left. Sorry Tari, you have to go. Miss you already. Speaking of no storage chests, I went around the shipwrecks and suddenly I had four more. I decided to go to another island for more storage. I found more chests and built my third shelf storage. I even had chests left over which I had to pick up. I eventually realized I'm lost. I couldn't find my island and spent a couple of hours endlessly going from island to an island trying to locate my home island. With all hope lost, I thought that was it, and out of sheer luck, there was my home. As I reached back to my island, the first thing I made was an antidote. Yeah, don't ask. I then built a spear gun, which would aid me in fighting creatures on hostile islands, and went on to organize my storage on my raft a little bit, so I know where stuff is. I didn't like how slow the raft moves with just the sails, so I had a smart idea to build a raft motor. Rotor. Confident that I had full cans of fuel ready to go, I had the hard realization that those fuel cans are actually empty. Yeah, I should start reading the tooltips more often. I then crafted some arrows for the spear gun and went to test it out on the nearest shark. There are two lessons that I learned. Sharks will occasionally drag you around and cause bleeding, so make sure you carry a bandage around. Second one, don't miss and don't run out of spears and arrows. I had to chase down the shark and pick up a spear so I can finish him off. I got lucky a couple of times and eventually defeated the shark. I then dragged the shark on the shore where I skinned it and put all the meat into smoker to cook. Wait, why am I making an antidote again? Oh yeah, literally 5 seconds ago. Um, sorry bro, I just wanna see... Not much happened for the next couple of days. I just went from island to an island, upgrading my storage on my raft, gathering materials I don't need. I built three more farming plots, built a tanning rack so I can finally make some leather. Moving on. As I was sailing through the sea, searching for meaning, I was slowly losing my sanity. Like, am I ever gonna make it out alive? And out of nowhere, I came across the exciting ship I wanted to explore for a long time. 
what better time to do it than in a complete darkness at night? As I got closer, I started realizing how big the ship actually was. I was a bit anxious, as I had almost all the loot I'd ever need at this time. But I couldn't wait to explore. So I parked my ship and went to explore. With my spear, I was ready. And the first thing I came in contact with was driftwood, which basically gives you wood sticks. Excitement! As the sun was rising, so was my confidence, and eventually I made it up to the ramp into the ship. Well, take two. Look at that sunrise though. Must be something good inside. I did a breach and clear and found nothing until I got to the top deck. And there it was, in its full glory. A plane. An escape plane. Yes, let's go! I think at the time I was more excited that I could build a gyrocopter, as I looted the gyrocopter parts, than actually being able to escape from this hell. I then had a realization. I need three parts for the plane, which I have no idea what they could be. I then need to stock food, water and fuel, which I had no idea how to make yet. Great. I can't even fuel my own raft, yet alone you want me to fuel a plane. What about the gyrocopter? Brrr. Anyway, with the new task set, I headed back to my island. Excited and stressed out of how much I had to do, I officially unlocked my new biggest fear. No, 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 please. Demoralized, I waited out the storm in my shelter and waited for the next day. I then went on to gather some clay for the fuel still, as now I needed to make fuel for the plane and my gyrocopter. I then built a plank station which lets you make planks from logs, and also build the fuel still. I had no idea how it operates. I tried putting coconuts and other stuff inside, but that didn't work. I tried almost every plan I had, but none of them worked. Until I tried potato. I thought you made vodka from potatoes. And finally, my fuel still was making some juicy fuel. I couldn't be more happy... Or I could if I knew where the free parts for the plane were. Let's not ruin the moment for now. And focus! With me gathering the free gyrocopter parts, it was only logical for me to build the gyrocopter first. Maybe it would help me find the free items I need to escape this island. So I started with the construction. I had all the parts required, so it was just like Lego. Base, seat, cockpit, rotors, and finally the engine. And it was finished. My own gyrocopter. Although I didn't have fuel, I was excited I built this with parts scattered around the island and shipwrecks. But I did have some fuel, which I made with my new fuel still. So it had to be done. I used all the fuel I had left and fueled the gyrocopter and took it for a test drive. I couldn't believe I was flying with the birds. Yeah, that was long coming. I left the gyrocopter for now and focused on maintenance of my island. I then continued farming potatoes and making fuel. I have a feeling I'll need a lot to fuel the escape plane. I built a farm for fibrous leaves as you always need those, and then had the idea to start a new base closer to the ship, as that's where I'm going to be escaping from. There is a nice looking island next to it, so I thought why not? I went to scout it out and build a bunch of farming plots to start growing stuff. I then went back to my island to grab more stuff, and realized this is going to take so long as the raft takes ages to sail there. If only I had a faster way to get there. Oh wait, time to test out the gyrocopter. I grabbed chests filled with supplies to start building the new base and hopped into the gyrocopter to properly test it out. It was a swift journey but I had one problem. It drank more than 20% of fuel just to travel from my base island to the new island. That's not the most efficient way to do it. Anyway, I built two water stills, plank station, furnace, brick station and a smoker before heading back for more supplies. I gathered some more clay so I can start building my new base. I quickly realized I will need a lot more clay in order to finish this new base. And flying the gyrocopter from an island to an island is not worth it considering I will need all the fuel I can get for the plane. As I was moving everything from my old base to the new base, 
I didn't want to leave my gyrocopter on the old island, so I had to come up with a way to transport it on my raft. I thought what could go wrong? So I landed my gyrocopter on the raft, and everything seemed fine. Well, sort of. I also loaded my bed, as at that time I didn't realize I can just put it in my backpack. Now with the raft loaded and ready to go, I pulled the anchor and set sails. I thought it was going great until I hit a big wave and my gyrocopter went for a swim. Well, shit. I was stunned of what just happened and went to rescue the gyrocopter. I fished it out of the water and squeezed it between the chest next to the bed. Well, it looks like I'm about to sink. Great. But I made it safely to the island where I unloaded both. Mission successful. I went around the local islands to gather more clay and eventually I realized that there is no more left. I was running low on fuel as well, so it was time for a raft mission. I watered all the plants, collected some water and smoked food for a long journey. I waited for the sunrise and left for an expedition. I learned my lesson not to get lost this time and marked each island I visited with the light hook. I used the compass to get the coordinates to my base and then used the label maker to rename the hook to the coordinates. I learned this trick when I tried using the labor maker on the light hook on my raft, which gave me an excellent idea to know which islands I've explored and which I haven't yet. As I was desperate to at least find one of the three items I need to repair the plane, in theory this trick will help me backtrack and get me back to my island, as well as explore all the islands I haven't visited yet. In theory. I then went from an island to an island, marking each one I visited. Each island I visited, I scouted for clay and other materials I might need. Occasionally I had to build a water still to replenish my first, or if there is an island with a lot of wild animals, I'd build a smoker. The plan was working well. I was getting everything I wanted with minimal risk. Well, not so fast. I somehow managed to get to an island which I've already been to, which means I've been going around in circles. Great. This little confusion wasn't going to stop me explore more islands, so I continued sailing until I reached this island. It looked a lot different to the islands I've been to already, plus there was a really amateur shelter built on the island. I had to see what was hiding on this island. The only thing that was in my way was this crab. Sorry, two crabs. But they couldn't survive the ambush from behind tactic. I found a chest with items I don't need, two ropes, and the biggest surprise! Wilson, is that you? Finally, someone I can talk to. I then continued on marking every island that I visited until I had to rest up a little bit. So I built a shelter and took a day off. I woke up from my vacation and decided that it was time to go to my base, as I had enough of materials to continue expanding my base. Plus, a new friend. I asked my new friend for directions home, and soon enough I had my base on the horizon. As I reached my base island, I continued farming and working on a new shelter. And soon enough I've run out of materials again. And my base was nowhere near finished. So I had to go on another clay expedition, but this time I went the opposite way from last time. As I was sailing past the big ship, I spotted a couple of islands that I could go visit which I've probably never been to. I continued sailing on until I spotted something unusual. At first I thought it was a small island or underwater structure I can explore. As I got closer I was sure it was an underwater structure. So I anchored my ship and went to explore. I wasn't quite sure what I've just discovered and as it started going dark I went to my raft to get my flashlight. I went back with the lights on to see what the structure was until a health bar appeared and boss music started playing. I had no weapons and it was completely dark, so I said nope and went back to my base to get weapons. I wasn't quite sure what to expect at first, but I took my spears and everything that would aid me in this upcoming battle and went to say hi. It took me a while to find where it was actually hiding. And when I did, I was faced with a huge eel. It was super fast and scary and my hunting spear did almost no damage to it. That was the first lesson I learned in this fight. No more hunting spears for boss fights. 
It was a long fight as I used all my hunting spears and then switched to my spear gun which also eventually ran out of arrows. Where I learned my second lesson, more ammunition. The last resort I had was to use a stabby stabby spear and fight the eel one on one last man standing. I kept on dodging its attacks and eventually dealt the finishing blow. I then collected all my spears and arrows before receiving a trophy and an aircraft engine part. So that's how I can repair the plane. I need to find two more bosses. As the eel despawned, I looted all my spears and arrows and headed back home as I had a lot to do and a lot to build. I grabbed and made all the leather that I could for the refined spears as it was the best damaging weapon in the game, I think. I then gathered some rocks from local islands and made about 16 refined spears. As my last clay expedition didn't go as planned, I set sails again in the same direction but this time I had to gather some more materials for the refined spears. I went past the ship again and I couldn't believe it. Another suspicious discovery. I grabbed all the spears and my spear gun with all the ammo and was ready for another battle as I knew what was about to happen. Eventually I came closer and it looked like a shark eating a dead whale. And I wasn't wrong. Before I knew it I was fighting a shark. As I missed my spear, the shark used an illegal airborne move. What the hell dude? I was panicking as I couldn't see the shark anywhere. I decided to go on my raft and make a breathing cocktail while getting one hit off. And now I was ready. The spear is actually OP in close range as 4-5 hits and the shark was halfway down. I had all the confidence in winning this fight, but as it was getting darker, the shark used another illegal move and dragged me underwater. My odds were getting slimmer, but I managed to get a couple of quick taps in and defeated the shark, which rewarded me with another part for the plane. I couldn't be more happier. I was one step away from actually escaping these islands. On a side note, how did I go exploring about 30 to 40 islands and I end up finding two bosses next to each other? Just my RNG, I guess. With me actually having all the supplies untouched for the expedition, I refused to go home and continued in the clay journey. Maybe I'll even find the last boss somewhere. I reached the next island, tired from the fight, so I took a nap. But when I woke up, I don't know what happened here, but it looks like I've reached the other side. The next couple of days, 15 hours to be exact, of this journey were probably the longest days of this game for me. And I'll tell you why. The thing is, I wanted to explore every single island and find the last boss so I can escape and maybe find something more exciting like Vilsen. But as I ventured from an island to an island, whether I've discovered it or not yet, the results were very similar and there was no exciting discoveries to be made, sadly. Yes, I've gathered materials I might need, like clay, chests or whatever. I explored shipwrecks and fought a bunch of animals, but it was very repetitive, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to spare you of the unwanted entertainment and give you the highlights. So here we are. I started by trying to hunt a huge whale, but let's just leave it alone. I then tried to ride the whale, but I guess karma kicked in for trying to kill it before and bam, I was poisoned. I found a floating piggy. I got attacked and chased by a bunch of animals, boar or crabs, whichever you prefer. I stopped picking up items and started destroying chests as I didn't need more, nor I had space for it. I also tried to get revenge for all those poisonings before, but yeah. And I almost lost all my progress again in about 10 seconds. After visiting most of the islands in the world, I ended up in my old base, where I took the last items that I have left there and realized all the plants here are now dead. I went back to my island where I had the fight with the boar. It was a very close call actually. I also noticed all the plants on my base island are now dead as well. Great. I then focused on finishing my base. I built all the walls. I finished the roof. I built some hooks for trophies and lights. Built a table and a chair. And my base was finally done. As the sun was going down, I was losing hope to ever find this last boss and escape from here. But instead of being negative, I decided to focus on stocking up food, water and fuel. And maybe in the process I'll come along to this last boss. For those who like base doors, here is a quick one. So yes, my base is built on top of rocks on the island. It was a mission as it wouldn't let me build stairs straight up. You have to take the stairs up into the base. 
where I have doors so unwanted guests can just show up. I have some storage at the back and this is where I live. It's not much, but I'm planning to escape anyway. There is a space for last boss trophy, which I can't find. Hello Sharky, hello Eel, and hello Bed. Good night. On the next day, I went down to check my plants, and I was really happy that the replanted plants were finally not dead. If I'm ever going to find the last boss, I'll need a lot of fuel, as with the raft it's going to take too long and I'll miss the 100 days mark. As my production of potatoes was destroyed before, I decided to go around the islands one last time. Also in a search for the last boss. I also had to get some leaves and food as there was none left on my island. Gathering enough of materials and food, I returned home where I continued making fuel and growing potatoes. I now had enough of water and food to stock up for the escape. With the fuel finished as well, and now having to wait for more potatoes, I decided to go visit the plane on the ship and continue the search. As I landed on the ship, I tried using coconuts to restock the food and water, but that didn't work. I then used my water flasks and refilled the water. I used the smoked food for the food stock and repaired two of the parts of the escape plane. I used all the fuel I had, but needed one more canister to fully refill the fuel. But I had to keep some just in case I ran out of fuel in my gyrocopter. I also need one more part from the last boss, but let's not talk about that. So I had to return back to my base, harvest potatoes and continue making fuel for the next couple of days. I was rapidly running out of time and as I had my morning conversation with Wilson, he motivated me to go in the gyrocopter and find the last boss so we can escape. And I did exactly that. I grabbed a bunch of full canisters of fuel, some water and some food and headed out on my gyrocopter to find the last boss. I left early even before the sunrise and made my first stop at the ship to finally refuel the fuel. Once that was done, find the last boss mission was a green light. I landed on the nearest island to craft a couple more spears as I've lost too many in the last fight. And I didn't need to refuel so off I was. And I couldn't believe it. As I lifted off the island I spotted the boss I've killed previously on the right and something else caught my eye on the left side. It's hard to see, but there, there it is. At first I was thinking it's at the boss because two of them were really close to the ship. But as I got closer and closer, I couldn't believe it. Bro, what is this RNG? I could have escaped like three weeks ago. It was right under my nose this whole time. I've probably sailed past a bunch of times as well, but it was too far to see it. I quickly rushed home on my gyrocopter and picked up all the supplies I might need and headed back to the island I came from to set up a raid base. I crafted more spears as I didn't know what boss to expect and took a quick nap. I then headed to the yellow floating looking thing where I anchored my raft and used all the cocktails I had left and then went to face my last enemy. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Before I knew it, the octopus swallowed me, but it was no match for my refined spear. Each hit I was chipping away from its massive health pool. I tried fighting it from the surface of the floating looking thingy, but considering it has tentacles, I decided it would be better if I fight it in water. One last time it swallowed me, and one last spear in its ass. Or might be its mouth actually. And the octopus was finally defeated. And finally I had the last plane part. Yes, I'm going home! I eventually made it back to my base, where I hung my last trophy and enjoyed the view for a second. I said the last goodbyes and left. Wait, let's close the door. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Wilson! Shit, sorry, I almost left you here. After all we went through, I can't just abandon you. I then hopped down the stairs one last time and hopped into my gyrocopter. Goodbye, Raft. Sorry. I speed run to the ship and probably landed on the worst possible place. But I didn't think much of it and was just excited to finally leave. I replaced the last part and finally the plane was operational. Instead of talking about what happens next, I'll just give you my live reaction as I was ready to go home. Okay, let's... Um... Yeah, we've done it. Wilson, we've done it. Let's go... I think it's done. Okay, let's go home then. Oh, I can see my base from here. <laughs> Um, hold to interact. 
Okay, let's uh, save. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's. No, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, yes, let's go. Um, am I time traveling? Okay, uh, let's hop in, shall we? Definitely looks safe. Um, uh, shouldn't we close the motor thing first? Ah, Ducky! Ah, Ducky. Meet Wilson. Wilson, meet Ducky. Okay, um, can I close that somehow? Um, there's no button to press, to be honest. Oh, hold E to start the engine. Okay. Okay. Just pressing random buttons, turn the radio on. Oh, it's spinning. That's good news. Can I close that somehow? Uh, hello? Close it. Oh, well, we just gonna fly like close cockpit. Okay, let's close the cockpit. Then. Well, certainly we're gonna fly like that, are we? Um, what's next? Uh, um, oh, it closed itself. Okay, good. Uh, engage rail. Okay, let's engage rail, whatever that is. Oh, I'm turning. Oh, that's what the rail is. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, shit. I left my... Uh, uh, abort, 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 lift off, abort. Uh, okay, let's go. Throttle. Uh, and off we go. Turbulence? I haven't even left yet. Come on, bro. Okay, uh, Ducky, we're gonna be fine, don't worry. Don't worry, Ducky, we're gonna be fine. Oh, hold the launch. Okay, let's go. And off we go. Yes! No, 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 no! Pull up! Pull up! Pull! This is not what I was expecting. I thought smooth. I thought it was gonna be a smooth lift off. Pull up! Ducky, we're gonna be fine, don't worry. Okay. Oh, okay, we made it. Okay, good. We made it. I can't wait for the TV at home. Okay, let's, let's, let's. We're taking a nap now, are we? Um. Hello. Three hours later. Okay. Am I going to be landing on an airport? Oh, I'm still flying. Okay. Some achievement. Okay. Um, uh, oh, when am I landing? Was it the ATA, huh? Uh, uh, I can't move my camera anymore. Uh, what's happening? Um, hello? Stop it! No! No! This is the worst day of my life. No! If you made it this far in this video, I want to thank you for watching it all the way and all the support. I really love you. I love creating this kind of videos for you, so please let me know in the comments what I can improve on and also what you would like to see in the future. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!